Hey you guys, it's Nathan. I wanted to share with you guys what my pick is for the best free photo editing software for 2021. I thought of taking a long time to make this video, but instead I wanted to just jump right into it and share with you guys what my pick is. I know there's many times that people say, hey, go with a software that is very complicated but very feature packed. Or they say, hey, go with some super simple, and even though there's not a lot of features there, at least it'll be easy to use. Where I want to be able to strike a good balance between the two, and that's what I feel that I've found here in Photoscape X. If you don't know what Photoscape X is, I'm going to open the software up for you so you can take a look at what the software is. All right, so here is the software. This is Photoscape X. And what's nice about Photoscape X is that when you first open it, you get this page where you have all the different um, features and shows you different things you're able to do where you could put uh, things like spot heel brush, you could do something like using the liquify brush to maybe exaggerate certain features of a face or of an animal in this case, red eye reduction. Uh, doing things like HDR, dehazing, locations, and like how to straighten up different images. But what's awesome is when you click into here, it'll actually send you out to their website where you're able to watch a video where it shows you how to make that uh, edit or that type of a change or use that certain uh, tool. And I think that's really helpful for Photoscape X to do to encourage people to continue learning and also help you if you get stuck on a certain effect or a certain thing in Photoscape X. Next, you have the viewer in here. This is great because it can help you navigate through all your different folders and go to favorites and have certain ones selected as your favorites. You're able to go in here and let's say, hey, I really like this image. I can right click on it and I can say, oh yeah, I want to uh, flag that or I want to give it a star rating between one and five stars and that helps you later for when you're searching through and you say oh yeah I want to search for something just the five star images or just the ones that I flagged that's totally possible in the viewer in the editor it's awesome because you can throw an image in here and you can do simple things like cropping it it's not trying to hide the uh, where you're able to hit the ratios where if you want a one by one you know square or if you want a three by four or four by six or something like that you're able to do that you're also able to do magic color and maybe boost certain colors and things but real simple really basic uh, more adjustments and effects down below able to go to the color tab brighten it or darken it or deepen but able to just see how the changes that are going to be made by just moving the sliders around. Also things like simple filters you're able to add just like you'd add on Instagram. Uh, you're able to go to different lighting effects where you're able to get these fun light effects as well. Um, frames where you're able to put a border on the image or make it a circle image or something like that. You're able to put the background as whatever color or pattern you want or even having it as a transparent uh, background as well. Also being able to insert things like stickers, draw arrows, um, even add text, which is super helpful. And there's so many great text effects that you're able to add in here, whether it's wanting to select your color, selecting a certain pattern, a selection of like a gradient, or just any kind of a stylistic approach that you're wanting to take to your text. I think there's a lot in there, along with what was added just a few months ago, which is the long shadow, which I think can be very helpful at times. So those are just a few of the different tools and effects and being able to do things like the spot heel brush. So like, let's say if I wanted to remove something in an image. So let's say if I wanted to remove this little power brick in here, I could go in here and I could select the power brick just by holding down uh, the left uh, left click and just selecting that and I can go and I can remove it sometimes it's a little picky but what's nice is that over time you're able to get that object completely removed where it won't be there anymore so simple to use really a nice piece of software that has a lot going for it the links are down below it's available for PC and Mac and I believe it's the best free photo editing software for 2021 now, if you are wondering about the paid option, there is a 
$40 one-time purchase, which gives you a few extra tools, a few extra effects, a few extra uh, different light flares and things. But that's something that you can make a choice on down the road. But the bulk of it is completely free. So you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.